What up, though? Welcome to the Free Game Producer Podcast. My name is Brian Andre, and I got the super producer, the multi platinum producer, the big homie, Will Power in the building. What up, homeboy? What it do, man? What it do? And we got the homegirl, the creative director, the world traveler in Miami one day, and then the same day, the next day in Atlanta. What's good? I just want to shout out all the people who came through. These all, all these great Atlanta music people in the building. Yeah, man, let's up. give it up. Let's give it up. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, I just think it's kind of crazy, man. How we, you know, just kind of pop this off. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it's really dope, man, that everybody came out. We got some cool stuff to talk about. You know, yeah. we always talk about um, new music. And the reason why is because we feel like producers don't get highlighted. And every week new music comes out. And these are producers that are on these projects, engineers that are on these projects, mm -hmm. managers, executives that put these projects together. So we try to highlight that and then give you all the information as far as who did what. Shout out to Tyler for actually listing producers on, yes. on their app, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. um, I was so excited when uh, I think Angie told me uh, we had him booked for our uh, live podcast. Yep. Um, this guy, you know, he's very instrumental in the Atlanta sound, TLCs, Arrested Developments, and we have Ian Burke with us today. Yeah. Give it up, everybody. So I was like, I heard a lot about Atlanta, mm -hmm. and so I, I came down here to attend a ride. And uh, it just so happens that one of my classmates was um, a bass player, and his band was opening up for Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes oh, at nice. this club called Mr. V's Figure Eight. Hey, okay. y'all real in that? Hey. You know what that, what that song is about. <laughs> a good manager knows all of us, you know, well-rounded in the industry. So in, in those classes, I learned about copyright law. Mm -hmm. I learned about marketing and promotions and things of that nature. You know, during that era, you know, it was kind of like. You know, nowadays it's it's commonplace to see people going to school to learn music business and just trying to find as many ways possible to get into the game. But back then, I, I kind of feel like that was that was a really good edge to have. We had to really fend for ourselves, and that's where coming from up top gave me an advantage. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, come with Mount Vernon is right next door to the Bronx, so we like the suburban yeah, area. Hustle, man. You know, we had that hustle. <laughs> she had that kind of flow, and she was like, getting I was like, okay, okay. And then she jumped up and did a full split in that mini skirt. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool. I said, what's your name? She said, my name is QT. You know, but my real name is Lisa. Hey. And I'm like, all right, well, let's see how this is going to work. I really wanted to meet this girl that that Rico was telling me about. And the moment she opened the door, I was like, yeah, that's it. You the one. You are it. I said, you don't even have to sing for me because if you can get up out of bed at 2 o'clock in the morning and look the way you look, you're gonna fit this move. And that young lady was Tian Watkins. Wow. Nice, T-Boss. T-Boss.